Good afternoon, everybody. This is Tracy Armstrong, owner operator of North Pittsburgh Greeting Company, the area's premier welcome wagon services, welcoming all the new homeowners and new businesses to the wonderful North Pittsburgh area. Today, we have the pleasure of speaking with Sandy Eggert, a longtime hairstylist in the Wexford area, who resides at Greg Jockle Hair Salon in the Sola Salons in Wexford. Sandy, how are you doing today? Honey, I'm fabulous. How are you? I'm fabulous. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Sandy, where you grew up um, and how long you've been a hairdresser. Well, I'm, I'm born and bred in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I uh, grew up uh, till I was a teenager in Wilkinsburg in the East Hills. And then my family, big family, I'm the oldest of seven kids, uh, moved over to McCandless Township and went to North Allegheny. So had that nice urban city, you know, growing up kind of thing, and then moved to suburbia and more rural. So um, I like to think my parents gave us a nice blend. And uh, I still reside in McCandless Township. Mm -hmm. um, graduated again from North Allegheny in 1976, went to Pittsburgh Beauty Academy and graduated in 1977. I've been a hairdresser now for 43 years and counting. Oh boy, so you have been around. You've seen mullets and, <laughs> and crazy and crazy big hair, 80s hair. Did you have the perms down right? Perms. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you've seen you've you you're so experienced in what you've done that you've seen decades of different hairstyles. So you're really proficient in what you do. I'm 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 sure. It's been a fabulous journey and yes. so, so not over. Everything, uh, everything comes around again. It's got a little, uh, a little tweak to it, a little nuance, but um, it's, uh, it's been a wonderful ride. And I really just, in spite of, you know, our restrictions now mm -hmm. and things being a little different, uh, you know, you adapt, you adjust, you're compliant so people feel safe and we get their hair done so they feel better. And Fabulous. So helping people feel better. Now, why, why did you, what made you say, you know, I want to become a hairstylist. I want to become a beautician. This is the industry I would like to go into. What made, what made you, what made you decide that that was your calling? Oh, wow. Um, wow. Well, as I said, I was the oldest of seven kids. My father was a, an engineer, chemical engineer, and um, I was on an academic path and thought I'd make a good engineer and uh, wanted me to go to Duquesne University just like he did. And I just, I don't know what it was. I I, uh, I guess the, the left side, the linear side uh, did not win out. My creative side won out. Um, I always liked to draw and, you know, just had a little bit of artistic kind of vibe to myself. Uh, a nice guy dated in high school, had an older brother who was married to a hairdresser and Elaine was my mentor. And she said, Sam, you would make a great hairdresser. And um, she said, you, you, uh, you need to be an altruist and you are. And I had never heard that word before, mm -hmm. but um, uh, she said that to me. And of course, when you're young, you're, you don't know yourself, but she said, you just, you, you're all about, you're for the good of others, not the good of yourself. And um, I just thought, well, you know, I let's check this out. And I did and decided that this was my path. And you talk about lucky or, mm -hmm. or just it just came. It just fell into place. And I was blessed or lucky enough to meet Greg Jockel when I mm -hmm. was 15 and be his assistant at Joseph Horns. We're going. Oh, my God. Going back. You're and, aging um, yourself, Sandy. Maybe that's not so good. <laughs> it's just like you said you look back and think boy if you had just taken a, a different step down this yeah. path everything would have been so different but it's just been I, I've just I don't have the words to say and I still feel the best hairdresser is inside me um and the best times are ahead of me and um no no retiring no retiring you just love meeting new people uh, love doing all facets of it. Baby's first haircuts, um, you know, just uh, proms and updos and proms will be back and weddings will be back and you know, men's haircuts, women's. Yep. 
you know, yep. still do some perms, you know, those beachy waves that people want. You know, this is a very bohemian time, a very mm-hmm. ordinary time for a lot of people working at home. Uh, they want easy and uh, relaxed. So, you know, we go with we go with the flow. But um, color is always fun and, and highlights and balayages. I mean, it's just there's really uh, there's really no part of it that I don't that I that I find I didn't like. Oh, okay. gosh, I, I never could wax. I'm afraid of the wax. <laughs> so I pass waxing on to my, my <laughs> but it's just, you know, it's just been to get to go to work every day and take care of the ones who take care of everybody else, mm-hmm. whether that's men or women, that is just, it's, it's been my pleasure. Wonderful. Continue and to- and you're recently back with Greg Jocko Hair Concepts. It's located in Wexford. And Greg has been in, in the industry for and what and I don't there's so many Greg's 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 a piece of you know history in this area. Mm-hmm. That's a good he really word. yes, he really is a piece of hairstylist history in this area. Very few people who are born and raised or grew up here have been here. 20 plus years, you say the word Greg Jocko, they know Greg Jocko from Joseph Horn. They know Greg Jocko from the McKnight Road, blah, blah, blah. Great. And what a great guy. What a great guy. Okay. How long has he been in? Yeah. How long has he been in? Oh, long, longer than me. Uh, yeah. You know, he's probably 46 years. Wow. Maybe longer than that. But he's just, he is, he is just, you talk about an altruistic person. Um, he just, even even our what we would call our competition, he he's never looked no. at the hairdressers or owners in that way. He he views them as colleagues, and they can all help each other and learn from each other. And especially during these times, you know, everybody's trying to just you know get through this period and get back to what we were used to, and and you know just be able to provide the service that we always did to our people, but. He's just always thinking of, um, he's just, he's a good, good man. He's a good businessman. He has other businesses. He's a great family man. I mean, he's just, um, you know, we. And and treats his employees very well. Oh, yeah. And I mean, you Mm -hmm. know, we've gone round and round sometimes over the years, but we have always been in each other's corner and, um, you know, always tried to see things from the other person's viewpoint. And I call him my work husband (laughs) because. (laughs) We always worked our, you know, whenever we had differences, we worked it out. We just wonderful. So wonderful. it's just we're uh, we're we're we'd like forty three more, but you know. <laughs> and let me. And what nice thing about you, Sandy, is all the new homeowners who move into the area, and then when I go personally greet them, and a lot of people know what I do. I go and I welcome all the new homeowners in this area, and you get I show up to your home with a bright yellow bag full of over $800 worth of free gifts from different businesses. And what Sandy is giving right now to all the new homeowners in the area are two $25 gift certificates to use towards her services. And that can be used. That's a wonderful, that's a wonderful gift. So I go, go to a home. It's just a woman. She can go on one time and get a a haircut. She can use it another time touring it for a, a color or a highlight or if I go to a home, there's a mother, daughter. If I go to a home, it's a single dad, two daughters. Heck, both of his daughters can go get $25 yeah. off a haircut. So what a great welcome that Greg Jocko and Sandy Eggart is giving to all the new homeowners in this area. I mean, wh- because one of the first things people don't realize this, and it is a statistic, you can look it up. One of the, the there, there's five things that a woman, a new homeowner, a female new homeowner is looking for when moving into the area. One's being a doctor. A lo- second's being uh, care for their furry loved ones. Third mm-hmm. is being care for their children. And fourth is being hair. That's very important. And a woman will establish who she's going to develop as her new hairstylist, a new area within eight weeks of purchasing their home. So how wonderful for you, Sandy, that you're the you're the key to giving the first impression to all these new homeowners coming into Greg Jockel, located in the Sola Salons on Route 910 in Wexford. I mean, just what a great way, what a great gift, what a great way for you to get to meet new clients and meet new people. Because like you said, you're not going anywhere and you're just a ball of fire. You have so much energy 
and you're, you're just wonderful to work for, work with. And I can't wait for all the new homeowners to meet you. I really can't because what a great gift to give two twenty-five dollar gift cards. So, Sandy, if somebody you know is, is is looking right now and they're watching this interview right now, and heck, they could have been here for twenty years, but they're just not happy with their hairstylist, or a lot of people right now. One thing I do want to tell people is what separates Sandy and Greg Jockle Hair Concepts from other people is a lot of people are afraid of your large places, your large nail salons, your large, you know, 30 seats, um, uh, hairstyling salons. Sandy is in her own little salon, if you were within a big salon, that's the concept of solo salons. So you can go into Sandy and you can feel comfortable, but that nobody is going to be around you. It will just be you and Sandy or you, or you and one of other Sandy's coworkers. It, it does give you, you have a little bit more, uh, one-on-one -on -one time with your hairstylist, which I always personally like because I use my hairstylist as a therapist some days. <laughs> so it's nice if you're afraid of getting sick or whatnot. One nice thing about solo salons is it's generally just you and your hairstylist. And what I hate to use the word cubicle because I, I don't want people to think it gray and four walls because it's certainly not that they're beautiful, beautiful, little, quiet stations. So that's a wonderful added bonus. And again, Sandy's wonderful. And there's you know, you're not happy with your hairstylist. You, you're looking for a new one. Call Sandy. Sandy, please tell everybody out there if they're like, boy, I like her energy. I want I want to get my hair done by Sandy. How can they get in touch with you? Well, um, it's easy. Um, you just call, call or text me. Um, you know, either's fine, whatever you're more comfortable with. Um, my number is 412-915-2567. Uh, 412-915-2567. And I will post this. Everybody who's interested, okay, I, yeah, will post, yeah, I, I will post her phone number in the comments absolutely, in this absolutely. interview because Sandy would love to see some new people. So Sandy Eggart of Greg Jocko Hair Aww. Concepts, thank you so much for taking your time today to Aww. speak with me. Again, Sandy, I will post Sandy's phone number of how you can reach her and make a phone uh, an appointment with her in our comments as soon as we're done with this interview. And again, Sandy Eggart of Greg Jockle Hair Concepts located in the Sola Salons and Wexford on Route 910. Sandy, have a great day. Thank you I so much. You too. Thank you. Bye You're bye. welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs> and that's it, Sandy. How fun was that? Yeah. And then we're going to do this again. Like I said, we're going to do this again next month. How oh. fun was that? <laughs>